Good morning, just woken up. I'm going to go to the Wish Saldanya Marine Reserve, which is a protected area integrated in the Ahabide Natural Park, between 40 and 50 minutes from Lisbon, where I'm at driving. And I'm gonna meet a friend there who's also a marine biologist. And he's much more knowledgeable in snorkeling and diving in that area. I think I've only been snorkeling there two or three times, which is a shame because it's probably the location with some of the most beautiful beaches of the Portuguese coast. And that's saying a lot because the Portuguese coast is almost all of it insanely beautiful. Uh, the downside of this loca particular location is the water is usually much colder than anywhere else. And it's still winter in Portugal, so right now outside it's 9 degrees Celsius and the water is around 16 degrees Celsius, which is not bad. It usually can lower down to like 13, 14 degrees Celsius. But anyways, I'm super excited. It's been a while since I've been snorkeling in the Atlantic Ocean and I'm looking forward to it. Let's get dressed and let's get going. So we've arrived in the Habida Natural Park, which is all around here. Down there is the marine protected area. And before going down and entering the water through this beach behind me, I just wanted to come up here to this viewpoint and just take a general look at the park, which is just beautiful. It's, I love it here. It's fantastic. In 2003, it was suggested that fishing rules and restrictions should be implemented in some of these areas around here at the coast in order to preserve the rich biodiversity of this location. And of course, back then there was a lot of backlash from the fishermen community, which which livelihood depends on fishing in these areas. So they were afraid that by having these restrictions, they would not be able to fish as much. Car coming, need to wait. Therefore, their livelihoods would be taken away from them. But those restrictions were implemented. So there are areas around here where fishing is forbidden and there's other areas where fishing is highly controlled. But what we have been seeing over the years is that now fishermen are catching more fish and bigger fish. And the reason for that is because the fish have now a sort of a sanctuary in some areas where they can thrive and survive. And of course, the fish that, that survive and the stocks that are able to increase in these areas end up also, you know, obviously leaving that area to the surrounding areas where it is allowed to fish. And what happens is because they have this sanctuary, the fish populations can, are able to grow in opposition to what was happening before in which they were being overfished and their numbers were decreasing substantially. Bon dia. Yeah. Now it's time to go down to Brutin da Habida, which is the beach where we will be snorkeling at. And let's see, I'm excited to see. The weather is perfect, still a bit cold, but still perfect with sun and the Sea seems perfect, no waves and turquoise blue. Let's go. Well, it is cold in the shade a bit, but it's sunny, blue sky, fantastic. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, I 
And I'm still so amazed by you. So now it's time to get dressed and then in the water. Part about all of this. It was great to swim in my beloved Atlantic Ocean again. Unfortunately, the underwater footage I took does not really do justice to the beautiful animals and algae we saw. This was mostly because I was holding the GoPro with my hands and couldn't really keep it stable due to the currents. I also didn't have weights on my legs, so whenever I would dive, my legs would immediately pull me back up. And it really made it hard for me to take nice footage from things at the seafloor. But I still really enjoyed the one hour we spent exploring, and I can't wait to go snorkeling again. Getting, starting to get a bit cold, so it was just nice to be in the sea, in the water again, in the Atlantic Ocean, the ocean where or next to which I grew up in, and I'm just very happy. Let's get out of this place. Afterwards, I talked with Miguel for a while about everything we had seen. Unfortunately, it was too windy to record a conversation. But Miguel told me that the last time he had been snorkeling here, he saw many more fish than what we saw this time. We don't really know why, it might have just been a result of the conditions of this particular day, or maybe it's because it's winter and generally this area has less fish during this season, but we actually just don't know. I was still pretty happy with having seen the things I saw, and I think we were both very happy to be able to explore the underwater world of this natural park. I spent the rest of the day at the beach enjoying the sun with my mom almost until sunset. And I went back home with a smile on my face for having been able to spend such an amazing day. Vision that I saw is getting closer every 
every dawn.